Hello, hello, hello to all of my loves. I am Malik Davis, and I would like to thank everyone for stopping by 40 Pieces of Me. Well, you saw the previous video that I did of the unicorn headband for a first birthday party. Well, as I stated in that video, I'm trying to work with the mother so she can know she can do inexpensive um, centerpieces so that everything still really looks nice like she spent a lot of money but we don't have to spend a lot of money so let's get down to it and you'll find out what we're going to use this stuffing for later but this is like just white stuffing for pill for pillows and i think it works really really good for like snow or even in this instance it's going to work really well for clouds so, because I think unicorns are affiliated with clouds, I keep hearing her say that, but you'll need spray paint. I only, in regards to letters, I'm just spelling out the, I'm spelling out the word one. So, O-N-E. That's all that you'll need. The only letters that you'll need. You are going to need toothpicks. You'll need, I have several different types of board. You'll need these blinged out stickers that you can separate. They're not attached. You can break them apart. You'll need those. You'll need felt. I use a foam white glitter paper. I use silver and gold glitter paper, as you can see. As I show you these things, I'm going to move them to the side. We know I don't have very much space. And as you can see, I've already cut some out. But you'll need actual molding clay. I would advise get the ones that you can actually bake. So you have to read. This one right here, you cannot bake. And when I first did it, uh, let's just tell you how the oven went. It was smoking. Um, these flowers, you saw me use them. I'm going to use the whole box of flowers because we're going to do a t-shirt too. But a friend is going to do that t-shirt. Um, you'll need the flowers. You'll need feathers. You'll need paint brushes. Whatever colors you choose to use, you'll need acrylic paint. Or you can just use spray paint for all of it. But I'm going to do some other things. You'll need a gold metallic paint and glitter paint brushes regular paint brushes or foam brushes and you will also need scissors and a glue gun so what i'm going to do i am going to spray this particular letter uh in gold and i will get right back to you guys okay so i showed you this one now I want to show you how I got this one. Like I said, the unicorn thing is something new to me. I haven't did it before. So I am going to show you what I did in order to achieve this. I have a razor blade here. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, I have a razor blade. Just And if you can get the actual molding clay that you can bake, it will be perfect. I don't have it, but it's still, it's going to work out for us. So, I'm going to use the N. I saw certain things on the internet that they use the O as a unicorn. But I want mine to be a little bit different than what we saw. So, I'm going to actually use the N as my centerpiece. So, basically, what you need to do is... You're going to just roll this, but we want the base to be sort of wide because this is going to have to go in that space of the end because I'm going to use the glass boxes that I used at Scholar's birthday party. I'm going to use the glass boxes in order to um, make this the perfect centerpiece. That's, I have feathers everywhere. And the feathers that I use, I bought those feathers in a actual, they came in a variety pack. So I don't want this too much larger than this because I don't want it to, with the actual box that it's going to be in. So I need to make sure that it's, it's not too much larger. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to make our letters appear that they are actually floating on clouds. So we'll get to all of that, the fun part of that, a little bit later. So the tops are going to be more skinny than the bottom. And the smoother you can get them, the better. We're going to cut them off in the end so everything will be flat. Um, I did, I thought this went through more than when I did the headband. But you're going to start just twirling this together. When we finish there, we're going to press it, but we're going to make it to where we don't have to worry about that. And just with your razor blade, you're just going to and make sure that it's standing straight up. And I'm going to paint this one. I don't know what she may end up doing with it, but I figured having an extra one, it couldn't hurt. So, this is it. Simple. We made the unicorn home. So, she really wants everything to be gold. So, that's what we're going to give it, is a gold. I have some gold leaf in. I'm trying to play with if I'll use that. But let's get it painted first.
Okay, as you can see, I've already done the ears. So, because we're going to have letters and it's going to be center pieces, of course, on it, we're going to have to have ears going this way. This way for the front. And we're going to have to have it repeat in the back. So these are already put together, and I'm going to do them opposite. As you can see, this one has the silver, this one has the white. So I've already cut these out. That's what I did. I cut them out of the felt and the glitter paper. The good thing about the foam glitter paper is it sticks on the back. So you may have to do some extra cutting just to make sure everything is it's smooth, but that's okay. So these are already cut. And as you can see, it's not even. So since it's not even, we'll just make it really, really sweet and simple. Probably would have been more even if I had to put it on there even, but... Hey, that's what we have scissors for. Okay. So... We do it just like that and repeat the process with the other but what I'm gonna do now is is attach it so on one side we'll do the silver and on one side we'll do and I picked up this little inexpensive glue gun all of them are really inexpensive but I picked this up one day because I was completing a project at work and that little glue gun, it works good. I haven't had as many problems out of it. So I'm just going to attach that. I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. My reasoning for why I'm incorporating the silver is because she's going to use the silver boxes to display it. So we had to do something to make everything cohesive. That's that. Same thing. We're going to trim. But that way, it just doesn't look awkward because you're using it. So you can just throw in a little of another metal if you want to use something that way. And you can make it all work. So she's going to do her own party setup. Because this weekend, I'm excited to say I'm going to Atlanta for... The Dallas, Dallas and Atlanta um, game. Um, as I told you before, some of the girls, some of the ladies in our group are Dallas Cowboy fans. So sometimes we have to split it up so that we support each other. So that is what I will be doing this weekend. Okay, I almost messed that up. I'm just going to end up cutting some more. Good thing I caught myself. Same thing, repeating. And by using the cardboard letters, when you spray those, well, I guess it depends on what type of spray you spray, but with the metallic gold spray, it dries really, really fast. So that's the good thing about that. I'll let these dry before I bend them, but bending them is just like doing them in half, basically, and it gives them those curves. So as 
as you can see, I already painted those um, just to let you see, just doing a little something different, making each one different. Because she sent me what she liked uh, to give me an example, but you never ever want to just do exactly what someone else has done. Um, so I am going to. Still um, do the stripes on the E because even though the word will be backwards, I still want to do some type of decor on the actual back side because somebody will be looking at it on the table. So this type of paint. It'll dry and sort of dull. So as you can see, I use the actual glitter. That was my reasoning for using the glitter. Because this paint will dry and be sort of dull. And you just don't actually want that. At least I don't. The blue did pretty good. But the pink and the purple, it was dull to me. And that's like I always speak about, just basically about covering up flaws. So, you can do one more coat. Trying to see what color glitter I had on that side, so we'll do like a purple glitter on this one. Not a lot, um, just sprinkles. Because I'm going to tell her to use like lights in the box and just while it's wet. So you don't have an extra step to go. We'll let these dry. And this is how that one looked on that side. This was purple on that side. So we'll let these dry. Okay, so while those dry, if you watch the video from the actual headband, I use these flowers and the little bling uh, stickers. So I actually, with these, just to make sure we don't have any mishaps, I'm just doing a little glue from the glue gun. And attaching it. That's basically it. Same thing, I've already did most of them. So just a little glue from the glue gun. And attach your knuckles. So now what we need to do is start the actual attachment part uh, when these dry. We already have all of these done. Oh, this is a really pretty yellow fe feather. Okay, so and we'll just get ready to attach all of these. We'll let these dry.
Okay, my love bug. So this is the end result of the unicorn centerpieces. Well, this is not all of the centerpieces, but this is sort of going to be the main attraction. And this went along uh, with the actual tutu. So I am curious to know what my love bugs think about this. Uh, as I stated, this was my first time uh, doing the unicorn whole thing and have to structure and put together a unicorn. So I am curious to know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'll actually get a chance to um, help her set up. I'm going to do that on Friday evening. The party is not until Saturday. So definitely, guys, please leave plenty of comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think I could have done better. Uh, let's be mindful and remember to be nice to each other. Because if you're not nice to me, I'll go ahead and be honest. I will make sure that you are not able to leave any more comments. It's never any need to be rude. But once again, my name is Malik Davis, and these are the pieces of me. I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button. Definitely don't forget to ring the bell so that you're aware of what's actually taking place at 40 Pieces of Me. Leave plenty of comments, and don't forget, it's okay to share on your social media. My name is Malik Davis, and I love you guys the pieces all oh, 40 pieces.